reading this morning comes from Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 and 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David, and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Oh, 
like to follow along, I'm going to be in Hebrews chapter 9. It's going to be a little bit of a lengthy reading, but if you'll bear with me, the writer here can does a lot better job than I can. Hebrews chapter 9, starting with verse 1. We'll be reading through verse 15. Now when the first covenant had regulations for worship and an earthly place of holiness, for a tent was prepared, the first section, in which were the lampstand and the table and the bread of the presence. It is called the holy place. Behind the second curtain was a second section called the most holy place, having the golden altar of incense and the ark of the covenant, covered on all sides with gold in which was a golden urn holding the manna and Aaron's staff that budded, and the tablets of the covenant. Above it were the cherubim of glory overshadowing the mercy seat. Of these things we cannot speak in detail. These preparations having thus been made, the priests go regularly into the first section performing their ritual duties. But into the second section only the high priest goes, and he but once a year, and not without taking blood, which he offers for himself and for the unintentional sins of the people. By this, the Holy Spirit indicates that the way into the holy places is not yet opened as long as the first section is still standing. Verse 9, which is symbolic for the present age. According to this arrangement, gifts and sacrifices are offered 
that cannot perfect the conscience, the con consequence of the worshipers, but deal only with food and drink and various washings, regulations for the body imposed until the time of reformation. Start in verse 11. But when Jesus, when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of defiled persons with the ashes of a heifer sanctify for the purification of the flesh, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Therefore, he is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, since a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions committed under the first covenant. Would you bow with me, please? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your son being born of a virgin, a miraculous birth. Dear Lord, God in flesh dwelt with us. Dear Lord, lived with us, walked on this earth. And dear Lord, he came to establish a new covenant. And he knew that he was going to have to sacrifice as you required sacrifices for sin. And dear Lord, as we prepare to partake of this bread which represents his body, dear Lord, our high priest stepped in and took our sin and nailed them to the, to the cross. Dear Lord, as we partake, let us never forget what Jesus, the Christ, has done for us. And it's in his name we pray. Amen. Would you bow with me again, please? Dear Lord, as we continue in this memorial, dear Lord, we know how powerful blood is. And dear Lord, we know that you required, again, sacrifices for sin. And dear Lord, you knew that we needed the perfect sacrifice, not of goats and bulls, dear Lord, that cannot take away sin, but dear Lord, we needed a perfect Savior. And dear Lord, he being spotless, without sin, went to the cross for each and every one of us. And dear Lord, just uh, thank you, thank you for giving your son to be sacrificed. Thank you that Jesus said he had come not to do his own will, but yours. So as we partake of this fruit of the vine, dear Lord, let us remember that sacrifice in blood that he made. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, to the King, eternal, to the only wise God, to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, to the King, eternal, to the only wise God, to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, to the King, eternal, to the only wise God, to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, to the King, eternal, to the only wise God, we bring honor, we Eternal to the only wise God.